So we're getting ready to go to the Magic Kingdom, our first day here at Disney World. Uh, this is our hotel room. It's a little messy. Watching the weather channel, it doesn't look like it's going to be wonderful weather. It looks like there's a little bit of scattered thunderstorms. It's 6.30 in the morning though, and we got to go get our tickets and then we're going to see the rope drop, so... Probably should have slept more. A rare glimpse at the Magic Kingdom parking lot. Normally you don't get to see that. It's pretty crazy. You ready? Yeah, we can do this. Waiting on the welcome show is what it's called, not rope drop like we thought, but we're waiting on the uh, welcome show. They wanted to head over to Peter Pan, but uh, it's really not super packed right now. Not, not, not too bad, not too bad. Five minutes early, how nice. Our first ride of the day is going to be the Little Mermaid. We've actually never been on this ride, so uh, it'll be really interesting to see what happens. It's kind of a beautiful, beautiful atmosphere just walking up to it. I kind of want to stand in line for a while, but uh, of course, when you get here this early, there is no line. Hey, Scuttle. Scuttle. <laughs> okay, he didn't say that. <laughs> after we got on Ariel. And we hadn't been on either, so Emily, what's your impressions? I like um, Ariel more. It's really good, and I want to watch the movie again. And I like Winnie the Pooh a lot, too. It was pretty good. The animatronics were good, and the, the ride was good. It's good for kids, and I loved it. Now we're getting on uh, Peter Pan, and that'll be Emily's first time and my second time, so. Well, second time that I can remember, anyway. We're uh, two for three with the cast member card today, so uh, we're doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Emily, Emily, what do you have? <laughs> we're, collectively, we're three for five now. Three for five. Uh, three for five in Mickey's Philhar Magic. Mickey Philhar Magic, oh. hidden Mickey. Right. Oops, my fingers went too big. Right there. Donald! Donald, where are you? Hey, Donald! So we're waiting in line actually to meet the evil uh, stepsisters. Trying to kill some time before we go down to get their autographs before we go down to be our guest restaurant, which is right over there. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully these evil stepsisters are nice. Entering Beauty and the Beast Castle in the Be Our Guest restaurant. Emily, are you excited? Yes. Yes, very excited. We don't have to stay in the line. That's yeah, we don't have to stay in the line because uh, we pre-ordered our food and we get this little pastry looking flower thing. So pre-order your food apparently, right? Yes. Yeah, pre-order your food. No doubt. It's pretty sweet, I would say. Emily's excited, very excited. So Emily's gone to the bathroom, but while she's in the bathroom, I'm going to explain this restaurant to you. It's so unique. Um, it's very aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but when you come in, when you, if you pre-order, they give you this little pastry thing here, and this pastry thing, it's got the little magic button on the front here, so they scan it, and it, it tells them what your order is, and they just tell you, go pick out a table and sit down. Apparently this this wonderful little donut thing here is a locator and they're actually gonna bring our food to us without ever talking to us. That is that is a unique dining experience by Disney right there. I'll give them a lot of credit for that. I mean on top of it just being such a beautiful one. This is the grand ballroom and there's two other rooms, the rose room right to my right to my right in there, and then the grand hall over there. So uh, it's a real And it comes with fruit and some bread and some bacon. We also got the gray stuff. I this is the gray stuff right here. We hear it's delicious. We'll find out. It's delicious, though. Yep. So, Emily, it's our breakfast. We, I'm almost done. Emily's pretty much done. Emily, what did you think of the food? The best breakfast I've had. <laughs> she says it's the best breakfast she's had. My eggs were a little bit cold, but I mean, it's, it was delicious. I'll give them that. And uh, we're about to dig into the gray stuff here in a second. Yes. We're about to try the gray stuff, see if it's delicious. It's, it is really good. It's, it's really light. Is it like icing or is it like it's, mousse? It's like mousse. It's more like mousse than icing. So, I mean, do it incredible. You gotta get this in your hand. I'm not trying to film For five bucks. Am I about to try the gray stuff? Wow. It's really it's like, light and airy, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, it's really good. Yeah. That's the dishes. Yeah, that's the dishes. Yeah, walk right in and meet these two princesses. Underrated, I tell you, underrated. Class act. Random fact about the Hunter Mansion, they actually plant their bushes and don't tend to them. And it's the only place on park where they don't tend to their flowers just to let it die to give more to the, uh, more to the stuff. And there's a the pet graveyard over there. We'll look at that one. So apparently the, uh, Haunted Mansion line is under construction, so we don't get to show you anything really cool. Like these books have something really cool about them, so we just have to keep stepping. Normally the entrance goes that way, but we're going this way. So uh, that was pretty, pretty weird, no doubt. It's the graveyard. Well, we're stuck in our dune buggies. Our doom, sorry, doom buggies, forgive me. Um, on the Haunted Mansion. Uh, and it, we're in the, the room with all the up, upside down stairs. Um, can't see anything in this video, but yeah, we're stuck. We moved like five feet, now we're stuck uh, 
in front of the floating candle and this creepy guy who you can't see right here. But uh, the Haunted Mansion definitely, every time you ride it, you see something very different. And uh, if we keep stopping every five feet, we'll probably see all of it pretty soon. So. We have been on board of the I guess I guess we're going back immediately, so here we go. Goodbye. You can't see it, but way in the back, Mr. Toad's up here in the animal graveyard. It's a reference actually to the old uh, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride that was replaced by the Winnie the Pooh ride. And you can actually in the Winnie the Pooh ride see a picture of Pooh and Mr. Toad, Mr. Toad handing over the deed to Toad Manor to Winnie the Pooh for Winnie the Pooh's ride. It's kind of cool if you next time you're down here, go ahead and look for that.